What's up, nature freaks? What's going on? I'm Dave. I'm Jeremy, and this snuggle bunny is Sunny. And Sunny is one of the snakes we use as a part of our educational show. Now today, we're going to be doing a feeding episode highlighting some of the largest snakes on the planet. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. People get to see these animals live at our shows and get to pet them, but they don't get to see the behind the scenes. So we are going to be feeding them. It's going to be super cool to watch how they eat and how their jaws work. So if you want to see some stuff get devoured, this is the episode. Yeah, and you know what? Snakes eat in one of the most unique ways of any animal. Picture a giant turkey on the plate. Now you have to eat this thing not using your hands. You don't use any utensils. You just have to pick this thing up with your mouth, no biting, no chewing, swallowing it whole. And actually swallowing something as big as yourself. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Now, graphic warning, we are gonna be feeding them large rats. So it is gonna be an animal eating a whole nother animal. All right, it's not gonna be cooked. It's not gonna be alive though. Um, so if you are squeamish about that, you might not wanna watch what happens after this. Hope you guys are hungry because you're about to get a belly full of nature in your face. Nature in your face! The snakes can smell the rats right away, using their rapid tongue flick to pick up the scent particles in the air. We also heat the rats in warm water so the snakes can detect them quickly with their heat pits along the side of their mouth. Once prey is in range, the snake strikes out in the blink of an eye, throwing coils of its body around the prey to begin constriction. Once the snake senses the prey is dead, it releases its grip and locates the head. Swallowing the rat head first ensures that the limbs fold back, making the prey easier to swallow. All right, so this is the jaw of a large reticulated python. And check out these teeth. These are recurved teeth, so they're curved backwards. That way when they grab onto prey, they can move the jaw back and forth like that. Very kinetic jaw, and they pull and hook onto that food and work the food down their throat. I mean, you would not want to get these teeth into your flesh. I mean, this is pretty massive. And look how long the jaw bone is there. So pretty cool. Since the snakes lack limbs, they use their own bodies to shove the food further into their mouths.
All right, we're gonna give you guys an x-ray view of the dentition of the snakes that we're highlighting this episode. If you look at this image, you can't really see the teeth. They're there, but there's a sheath that covers the teeth both on the bottom and the top jaw, but check this out. Here is that dentary set of teeth that we were talking about. And then on top, you have the maxillary. So they open and close like this. I, I brush my teeth twice a day. But there are actually six rows of teeth you got the two maxillary, you have the two dentary, but look up here. As you notice, there's this curved set of teeth on each side. The top here is called the palatine teeth, and then here, this is a big word, <laughs> is the pterygoid teeth. So it would look something like this on each side. Now all these teeth aid in gripping, and almost like a conveyor belt. Jeremy kind of already mentioned this earlier. They walk the prey item back into the throat. And that's when the head and neck muscles take over and pull it down into the throat. Now, I also wanna point out something really cool. Obviously, this is the rat's tail. This snake cannot breathe through its nostrils or through its throat because of that prey item blocking. But here is the glottis. Glottis is a little organ that opens up, allows air into the snake's lungs so he can breathe even with that giant rat stuck in his throat. That is pretty cool. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed our snaky eating episode with all those rats and mice. Got some good news, we have a brand new Facebook channel. Of course, it's Nature in Your Face, look for that fist. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe and give us some ideas. If you guys you know, can comment and let us know what you wanna see, what you want us to feature. We have a lot more captive animals. We'd be more than happy to do an episode on what you guys might think would be interesting. Yeah, definitely. We like to stay active in the comments, so get in there. Tell us stories, ask us questions, make suggestions. If you got a fluffy bunny named Bingo, tell us about it. That's awesome. I also want to give a special shout out all the way from the Philippines, a uh, fan of ours, Orlito from the North Channel, North Flavor, North Flavor Channel. Yep. So uh, feel free to look them up and just be like, yo, Philippines, what's up? And now because we gave the shout out, they did agree to give us a personal tour of the Philippines and all the food that we can eat. We love our ponds. We also love our king cobras, which is one of the venomous snakes you can find in the Philippines. All right, guys, thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna be pumping out a lot more episodes. Nature in your face. See ya.